Steeple time. Ooh, this one's interesting. It ta- Saturday. It takes place on Saturday. Favorite, Gordon, feel free to disagree, but I got Hillary Bohr. Do not disagree. This this podcast has been uh, becoming just like agreeing with each other podcasts. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Very cordial. But like, I mean, it's been an obvious favorite for the first three. So, yeah, Hillary Bohr, he's run 8-12. Five seconds better than Keeter, who ran his time last year. Six seconds yeah. better than Duncan Hamilton. And, you know, I mean, he's the most experienced. Obviously, there's a few other names who've been around, but Hillary Bohr's, he's, he's running well in Diamond Leagues, so no one's going to beat him. He's running 12. Hillary Bohr is the favorite. Yeah. Yep. I think, yeah, he got eighth in, in Rome in that very fast steeple i i don't see anybody getting him in this race you mentioned keeter furlick updike there's the collegians out there with hamilton and stokes but i think four is the pick sleeper who's your sleeper let me let you go first on this one all right my sleeper this is going to be a good story gordon i'm going to take you back to the year 2018. 2018. You remember the NCAA championships that year? Tell me the school it that last. Won. It was the last meet in Old Hayward. Well, I need you to focus okay. on the steeple. What happened on the steeple at the NCAA championships in 2018? You remember? Oh, I do. Man was in the lead with 300 to go and hits barrier after yeah hits the barrier and his team's chance of getting 10 points from him goes down the drain brian barraza from houston brian barraza i am predicting brian barraza redemption meets he just ran a big pb he ran 819 at music city and i'm thinking four years after the fall new stadium construction watch out for brian barraza that's a good sleeper. Brian Barraza, 10 man elite. He's kind of waiting for that one moment post college to kind of have a breakout performance. He ran his 819, which was a breakout performance in its own right. I do like that. I'm going to go. I mean, is this a fair sleeper to say and call Evan Jagger no, a sleeper? No, 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 no. I knew you were going to do this. No, no. It is a sleeper, though. Lie. No, he's not a sleeper. He's literally not a sleeper. He is not a sleeper. He is not in any way, shape, or form a Who sleeper. Who decides what's Nobody... a sleeper? Come on. If you have to be sleeping on someone for them to be a sleeper. I'm sleeping on him. You are not sleeping on Evan Jager because he is the greatest men's sleeper of all time. Everybody in the back not of their mind is doing the, op- we're doing the opposite of sleeping on Evan Jager. We are on high alert. If he runs a prelim and looks good, doesn't even matter how – Fast the time is, we're all going to say, oh, there he is. There's old Jager again. He does not count as a sleeper. No, I'm not letting you pick Jager. Sleeper. I keep saying sleeper. I had no idea you're the no. orbiter. Orbiter. Orbiter or orator? Arbiter. Of Close. sleepers. This is bullcrap. No, he's my sleeper. You, I'm not you vetoed Gregoric. You vetoed Gregoric. I did. I'm allowed to veto Evan Jager. In the chat, Gregoric, Evan Jager Gregoric actually ran well this year. He ran a good time. Evan Jager doesn't even have the standard. He's not a sleeper. He doesn't even have the standard. How can someone who doesn't have the standard not be a sleeper? He does not have the standard in the 3K steeplechase. They're the greatest at the event of all time. And just last year, they're the last five days. Pre-pandemic greatest. He's not not a sleeper. We're not not sleeping on Jager. Are you not going to just leave that one blank? No, I'm I'm refusing to... I right. play by your rules. He's a sleeper. I get the win on that one then. Automatically, I win that one. Here's my pick then. Top three. I got Bohr, Keeter, Furlick. Okay. So he's the greatest steepler of all time, and you don't even have him making the team? Greatest American steepler of all time. And you don't have him making the team? Right. It doesn't mean he's going to make it this year, but... It- Sleeping is more about attention paid to you. It does not necessarily mean your chances of winning. That is what a sleeper means. How much attention are we paying to this person? We want someone off the radar in that event. Evan Jager is decidedly on the radar. 
we analyze and debate every single one of his races all year, whether or not they're good or they're bad. Someone like Barraza is a sleeper because we have not spoken about Barraza this year. That is a definition of a sleeper. Yes, All right. Well, who are your top three? Who are your top three again? Bohr, Keter, Furlick. Okay, we're gonna very different. I'm definitely not picking Keter. Keter's a bad pick, bro. He's not running well this year. Uh, He's running well. Bohr, Bohr one, Duncan Hamilton two. Love the guy running in his half tights, and Isaac Updike three. <laughs> So Bohr, Hamilton, Updike is my big three. I have Jager finishing fifth as a sleeper. All right. Maybe we should make a huge wager on Keeter. Maybe that should be the bet. Do you know what I'm, I'm going to interview? First question to Jager after the prelims is like, do you consider yourself like a sleeper in this race? And if he says yes. And he's going to laugh at you. He's going to laugh at you because you know what he's going to say? He's going to paraphrase Kevin Durant. He's going to say, you know who I am? I'm Evan Jager. I'm never asleep. No, he's going to. He's really, I guess this so. Is like calling, I kind of sleep on myself too. It's like almost like calling Webb a sleeper in, in 2012 when he was running. Like, no, he no was. one paid attention to Alan Webb. All right. LeBron James, sleeper for the NBA finals yeah. this year. <laughs> he is a sleeper. You know who no one's talking about? Ben Tom Simmons. Brady, sleeper, Tampa Bay. Can they I do it again? 